So we've announced our um, alliance with DTS, uh, where we are entering into a sales and marketing partnership with them, um, primarily for North America, South America, and uh, a few parts of Asia, including China. Um, so there's the new DTS uh, DC20 box that's uh, powered by Cube, um, which, is, which is something that we are showing here. And uh, we also have some uh, exciting features added to our um, server, uh, which most of you know has uh, had some innovative user interfaces, has had the, had the cute uh, remote panel that has a five-minute learning curve for anybody new to digital cinema to be able to deal with the digital cinema player and uh, load shows and uh, play shows uh, with a very simple menuing system. Um, where I'm loading a show and hitting play. And also our full-featured web interface that uh, would run on any of your browsers uh, without having to install any client application on the machine that you want to use to control your cube. Um, there's, a, there's a quick and easy uh, drag and drop feature to build shows, um, drag and drop feature to add uh, drag and drop to add automation queues, um, save shows. Come back into the control page. Load the Cinematex show and go. Um, we believe this is the easiest uh, combination of user interfaces in the digital cinema uh, server space. And uh, uh, we continue to add uh, uh, more features into the user interface to make uh, the setup and management and maintenance of digital cinema a very simple task. Um, I also want to move over to showing a, a very revolutionary product that um, really simplified the creation of uh, digital cinema packages. Uh, digital cinema packages traditionally have been um, quite complicated to create and it was a big mastering process that somebody had to go through to create uh, DCI complaint digital cinema packages that would play on any server. While this was an okay process for full-length full, uh, full -length feature films uh, and uh, basically st studio output, when it came to an exhibitor wanting to play a local advertiser's uh, advertisement, they they couldn't afford to go through a full-blown digital cinema mastering process. So we identified this need and created a very simple um, three-step product called Cubemaster Express. Um, I'm going to quickly run through and show you how one can use Cubemaster Express to take a, a regular desktop video file and turn that into a digital cinema package. So here I am using a Windows Media file that is a standard definition Windows Media file. My first step is drag and drop it in, and then I fit it for the for the for the screen uh, projection aspect ratios uh, for flat and for scope without having to work with any numbers. I just can visually size it up. So I just size it for flat, and then I size it up for scope. I can also pan the picture around if I wanted to, and uh, go to the next step of giving it a name. I'm going to call it butterfly, and hit go to start an encode. I can also use the same product to create a slideshow. And uh, here I am just using a collection of uh, JPEG images, selecting all of them, doing a drag and drop, use the slide sorter to move my clips around, um, again, size the clips for the flat aspect ratio and the scope aspect ratio, um, selecting the transition that I want to use, pick an audio file that I would like to use, and name it and, and, and hitting go to get a digital cinema package. So that's how simple we made uh, the creation of DCPs. Uh, this should uh, give you an idea of uh, what we have today and uh, where we are headed. Thank you.